guys, Fran here, back with another video. So, this video, I just want to chat with you guys a little bit. I just want to talk about God for just a minute. Just, just a second. Now, I talk about God all the time, and I always get emails where people are really, really thankful that I include God in the manifestation process or in the law of attraction process, etc. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. When you look at who God is, right? When you look at who God is, whether it is your higher power, however you associate yourself with God, the master of the universe, the creator, you know, your higher consciousness, whatever it is, when you think about God, you have to think about the fact that God is all-encompassing, right? He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the maker of all that is seen and unseen. But here's the coolest thing about God for me. This is, this is one of the coolest things about God for me. Number one is, is that God loves you right where you stand. So that, that myth or that feeling of, you know, God's not giving this to me because he doesn't want me to have it or I've been bad and, you know, I've done this and I've done that. There were so many people in the word that were transformed, right, that God used to heal people, that he used to give messages through, that he used as his people, as his light. And some of these people were not good people, right? They didn't start out as being the uh, Apostle Paul or, you know, David or, you know, uh, they didn't start out being squeaky clean, right? They were cleaned up through the process, okay? So when you think about God and you think about how God loves you, do you really think that God would want you to do without anything? And the coolest thing is, is that God will use anybody and anything that is willing to be used. And everything that God created was created by his spoken word, right? He thought about it. You know, this is, this is just how I kind of visualize it, right? Like he thought about it and he said, it would be so nice to have. Wouldn't it be nice if? This would be so great if, right? This is just how I visualize it. And when you think about that, that's how you manifest and that is how you create, right? It becomes a thought first. It becomes a desire and that desire then begins to create thoughts within you of, it would be so great if I had that brand new job. It would be so great if I had all the money in my bank account that I could spend. Wouldn't it be great if, when you start to think like that, you are setting the wheels in motion. You are using your spoken word to create. It is from your mouth to God's ears. It's just like your thoughts. But what I want you guys to do is stop thinking, because I get a lot of emails about people who think and feel like, I'm not getting what I want because I am being punished for some reason. Or I'm not getting what I want because God just doesn't want me to have that. Listen, if God does not want you to have something, that means that he's got something so much better for you that you'll be like, I am so glad you didn't give me that, Lord. I'm glad you waited and gave me this because this is so much better. You have to know who God is. Once you understand who he is and how much he absolutely adores you, you will understand that struggle has got to go. You will understand that anxiety has got to go. You will understand that depression will have to go. You will understand that that bad relationship got to go because he's got a better relationship for you. You have to get connected to your source. Get connected to who God truly is because that is the only way that you are going to know who you truly are and the power that you have to do the things that you 
want to do. When I was struggling and just trying to make ends meet because your girl struggled. I mean, I had a daughter. I was a single mother. I was going from piddle to post, as my mother say. And I was really spinning around because I didn't understand that I had the power to change my life just by changing my thoughts. And you hear people say that and it sounds really simple, but what I had to understand is number one, it's a practice. It is something that you have to work on, especially when you're programmed a certain way. And most of us are programmed that way because we're programmed by our heroes, those people we grew up with, our parents, those people we love so much that we saw doing such great things or that we thought were doing the best they could do because that's all they knew how to do, it programs us to just be mediocre, right? Or to just kind of fly under the radar and allow it to be. But once you really begin to dig deep and you begin to understand that you are connected to the power of the creator, I'm going to let y'all sit with that for a minute. You are connected to the power of the creator of the universe. There is nothing that you cannot do, be, and have. So if you are struggling through this manifestation process, if you have blocks up, you need to understand what those blocks are and you need to understand how to eliminate those blocks. That's where it starts. It starts with the programming that you have. It starts with the way you've been taught, the things that you tell yourself, the things that people have told you that you have allowed to sink into your spiritual DNA that has you stuck. But here's the good news. Once you know who you are, and once you know who God is, you can change all of that. And when I say all of that, I mean all of that. You are connected. You are always connected. God loves you, and he wants you to be happy. Don't let anybody tell you any different. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching, and make sure that you subscribe. Bye for now.